And good evening. The Gray Wolves are back here to NAS Whidbey, the squadron just landing here a short time ago. And one member of the squadron has been gone for six months. He saw his baby the day before he left. Zach Gale, welcome home. Uh, how's it feel to, to be home after six months? Feels unreal. <laughs> Can't believe it, to be honest. Feels different, especially coming home to this little man. You said you saw him the day before you left. Yes, he was born on the 3rd and we had to leave on the 4th. Wow. You had a sign. Where'd the sign go? Oh, somebody took the sign. There's the sign. This is what was waiting for you. We saw it a few moments ago, quite the scene here as the C-40, the transport plane, brought everybody in. Kylie, what, what do you think to have the family home now for the holidays? I am extremely grateful and definitely unreal. Definitely, it's kind of like a, a dream. One of those movie Hallmark stories, <laughs> so. Well, the pictures never get old. A great scene uh, when, when all of you got back together here on the uh, tarmac. We will let you go enjoy the holidays. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us for a few minutes. Here's what uh, the commander of the squadron had to say about this trip in particular. You know, we've been, uh, for the last six months, uh, been operating in some of the most arduous environments, you know, the uh, Arabian Gulf in the summertime, triple digit temperatures, high humidity, and uh, you know, this, this team just knocked it out of the park. You know, working through all that, um, making sure that we had airplanes, uh, you know, operational and uh, over the skies of Iraq and Syria. He also said about 60 to 70% of this squadron were on their first time deployments. A lot of smiles here at NES Whidbey tonight. I'm Chris Daniels on Whidbey Island, King 5 News.